Okay guys, so I'm back. Uh, I just screwed all the seven screws back into their spots. So the two metal ones, the two top ones, the one beside number four, and the two beside number seven. Basically, next what you're going to want to do is pretty simple. Just plug number four back in. So put it where it would normally plug in, then just apply a bit of pressure. Move your thumb around until you feel it kind of snap in. You know where it won't move around. Maybe you, it, on some of them, you'll even hear them snap in. Um, I, I've d actually opened up my iPhone too many times now, so it doesn't snap in anymore per se. But I can feel that it's not going to move and that it's in. And uh, next, what you're gonna want to do after you got those two screws where the "Do Not Remove" sticker is, it's probably removed by now, or at least tear it up. Um, what you're gonna want to do is. Plug number seven back in. I've always had a little trouble with number seven. It's a little circle-ish, and uh, it's very small. So what I what I'm gonna try and do is do this quicker than I usually can. Um, see if I can just quickly snap this back in. There you go. Okay, so I just basically put my iPhone upside down, and I was able to maneuver, and I actually heard it snap in. So I was able to get number seven back in. So now you got number four, seven, and all your uh, screws for the motherboard back in. Now what you're gonna want to do is put the screen back on the base of the iPhone. So you got your iPhone and you got your screen right here. The first thing, so basically now you're gonna want to do it uh, backwards. So you unplugged it numerically, so from one to three. Now you're gonna want to put number three, the one with that the doesn't snap in. It's just a little pin here, uh, if you can see that. Just a little pin. It says number three and it slides in under the white piece. So make sure that the little black part, so you see the little white clip where it slap, uh, snaps in or slides in. Let's see, somewhere here. Yeah, right there, the little white pin. And then there's a, well, mine is lifted right now, so you can barely see the little black thing under it. Make sure it's lifted so you can easily just slide it back in so what it what's well, not easy but it should be easier so basically just put your screen at a 45 degree angle like this and you'll notice at the very bottom of the connector um, there's uh, two different colors where it actually connects is kind of like a, a goldish and then there's kind of like a I guess orangish color where it doesn't need to where it doesn't actually connect so basically you just want to make sure all the goldish part is plugged is in and properly connected. So let's see here. I think that's pretty much it. Let's see. Just wiggle it a bit if you, if needed, and then I'm just gonna hold this while I get a uh, a needle here and snap the little black piece back in. Sorry guys, that it's not in the. Uh, I'm not doing this in the webcam. I should be doing this in the webcam. This is one of my first videos, so oh, shoot. Uh, just be uh, be a little patient with me here. Um, okay. Basically, I would not have made this video if anyone else had figured out how to repair 20 error 28. But because I, what I know, I'm the only one that actually did it properly okay so I just snap the little black piece back in so basically now number three is plugged in my screen is basically at 45 degree angle now what you're going to want to do is plug in number two so basically put it over where it is just snap it in uh, wiggle it around until you feel it snap in or hear it snap in same with number three or one I should say now once all those are uh, snapped in correctly just make sure it's lined up properly and so basically make sure the top part of the iPhone is in correctly and then basically just slap down the bottom here and that's it so now your iPhone is back to into here you're gonna want to screw these little screws that work that go at the bottom of the iPhone back in before you try and restore just make sure Oops. Yeah, I think I just lost that. Be right back, guys. Hey, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I just found the screws again, or the screw, and put it back in. Yeah, that was a little joy, joyful hunt for it. I dropped it in the carpet under me here, so that was very unpleasant. Um, so basically, 
you put everything back together. My phone, because it's already fixed, I should just do that and it will turn on without any issues. If you follow me correctly, um, now, in your case, Error 28 will not be resolved right away. You'll be able to plug it into iTunes and still go recognize it in recovery mode. What you can try and do is, is restore to the uh, uh, factory default of um, uh, 4.1. If, uh, if you're on... Um, if you're on 4.01 and you need uh, and you rely on a uh, unlock, then don't upgrade to 4.1. If you are already on 4.1 or you don't rely on unlock, I would highly recommend upgrading to the uh, factory default of 4.1. If that doesn't work, I'll put a link in the video description down here uh, for the download of 4.1 GM. I actually tried to update to 4.1 official. Uh, from Apple and it didn't work. It gave me errors uh, 1620 or 14 or something. Uh, I updated after that to the GM version of 4.1 and everything worked fine. So I'll put that link for the GM down in, in uh, the video description here and now you see everything's working fine here. No SIM card in inserted. Yeah, I should probably insert that back in right now. Uh, so just plug that back in like that. And so here's my iPhone. Everything is working fine. Uh, you can install the GM like I was saying. <coughs> Once that's done, uh, you can upgrade to the official 4.1, uh, or you can downgrade to um, you can downgrade to the 4.01 and jailbreak again with jailbreakme.com. You'll notice now though that there is not a uh, you don't you you can re-add the source uh, in Cydia. Uh, um, repo at woozy.net uh, and but don't install spirit to pwn this time and uh, you'll notice there's a new package uh, JB so jailbreak me to pwn you'll download you'll install that one and download and install that one and that one is for us that downloaded uh, or jailbreak through jailbreak jailbreakme.com on 4.01 so then basically you can make your custom firmware using uh, Snowbreeze 2.0 and upload that to your iPhone without any issues um, and so that's how I got my iPhone out of Era 28 out of the DFU loop and uh, jailbroken to 4.1 uh, thanks for watching and see you next time